In this video, I want to do some brainstorming over at Notebook LM. It talks about brainstorming, and I've seen videos here on YouTube, but I want to focus in on info product creation or utilizing Notebook LM and being able to bring in sources when you're thinking about creating your own information product and then brainstorming with those sources, which is the superpower of Notebook LM as a piece or part of the Google AI. So with this idea or this concept, I went to Gemini because I want to focus in on using Google and Google AI holistically together with Notebook LM. And I wanted to pick a topic. So I picked the topic and I came up with the importance of building financial literacy early. And Google AI gave me some tips or gave me a sort of a mini outline here with some resources or some information or what's going to become a source for my notebook LM. And I'm just going to copy that. Then I'm going to take that over and I'm going to insert that as a source. Of course, I just pasted that in. And now I have these key topics, financial literacy, wealth building, financial wisdom, financial resilience, early savings. But what I want to do is I want to brainstorm and I want to do that here. I'll close the chat because I've saved all these notes, but I saved all these notes with specific brainstorming prompts or input. So I open up the view chat and I started first with this idea of reverse thinking. So an opposite perspective. And the prompt is if this idea were to fail miserably, what would go wrong? So it gives me some potential pitfalls on the path to financial literacy. And of course, it references the document or the information that I originally got from Gemini for me to bring it in as my first source and then start brainstorming here with Notebook LM and the different notes that I'm saving as Notebook LM is designed to become an expert on the source information that you put in so you can have these direct chats. And again, like I said, I'm just going to save that as a note. Then I'm going to move on to the second brainstorming prompt or the input here, and it's the scamper prompt. Substitute, combine, adapt, modify, put to another use, eliminate, and reverse. And the prompt simply is, how can I change or modify this idea to make it more innovative? Innovative, Innovating financial literacy education, gamification, personalized learning experiences. Then it keeps going on down here, and it gives you another idea about creating peer-to-peer -peer learning with the idea being about innovating financial literacy ed education because we're looking at the importance of building financial literacy early on. As so as a young person, understanding how to actually or where and how to find the educational resources they need to find and your information products needs to point people to that solution. So we move on and we're doing this and we have mind mapping down here. It's going to set up a mind map for us. We also have a prompt here that compares unrelated things or builds analogies. And then down here, six thinking hats, different perspectives. And I have the prompt there as well. There's a link in the description. It'll take you over and you can download all five of these prompts or you can access a page with all five of these prompts and some great examples and deep dive into how you can use these five brainstorming prompts that make Notebook LM even more powerful. But let's go back and continue this because what I did is I combined this into one big prompt and I said, imagine you're designing a new financial literacy app. How can you combine the best elements of traditional financial education with innovative approaches to make engaging, effective and, and make it engaging, effective and accessible to everyone? Consider the potential pitfalls of failing to provide adequate financial education, the importance of personalization and technology, the power of story, storytelling, and real life examples, and the and the and the psychological features or factors that influence financial decision making. Now, this is just one example around the importance of building financial literacy, but you can see here now it's taking me down this road or this idea. And remember, I'm creating an information product, but it took me to this idea of designing and engaging an accessible financial literacy app, which may be the next level for me as I create these information products. Specifically in this example, if I was creating a world, creating my own world where I was edu educating people on financial literacy early on, then the next step for me as an entrepreneur might be able to create or might be to create my own app or 
to become an affiliate for an app that does this. So now I have this information and we can, what we can do here is we can close this chat and we can close this source. Now we have these notes here where we can continue this brainstorming with these five prompts that we entered where we took, took the information that we got, that we copied from the brainstorming that we did with Google AI over at Gemini, and then we bring it in and we create these individual notes. Then we can select these individual notes. We can do more brainstorming or collaborate with the AI now as an expert around this topic, our topic that we're trying to create an information product on to help me understand, to critique, to suggest related ideas or to create an outline. So we click suggest related ideas and here now we're letting Notebook LM and Google AI do the brainstorming for us. Whereas before we were taking those five prompts that I gave you, link in the description, you can go grab those five prompts and it gives you that starting point to get to the point where now we're suggested or we're having the AI suggest related ideas based off of our prompts or the notes that we saved based off of those prompts, those brainstorming prompts. And here, here are some ideas from your source material that connect with your original passage on designing a financial literacy app. Then it brings that into play. So then we can close that chat, then we can go back and we can unselect that one. And we can say, okay, well, here is financial literacy as a growing seed. That was the analogy. We had the mind map. We also came down here to potential pitfalls. We had all these potential pitfalls, which are gonna be very important to let people know in your information product, the things or the issues, the problems, the hurdles they're gonna run up against and how to solve those. So we can close that one and we can select, select it. Then we can come down here and su suggest related ideas. It goes back to the chat again. And now we're really, really, really breaking into the power. The focus here is the power of brainstorming with the AI based upon those five prompts. Again, you can grab those link in the description to kick this off. And now you can see that we're really diving into this. And here are some related ideas from the source material that it can enhance, that could enhance your original passage. Your original passage that came from creating an outline with Google Gemini AI, bringing that into Notebook LM, using those five brainstorming prompts. Now we have this connection or we have this additional information that we can save as a new note and we bring that back in. And now we have all this information. Of course, at any point now, we can select all of these and we could combine to a note or we could create one outline, create a study guide, or we could even summarize what we've done so far. But let's go ahead and select create an outline. And now we have a note inside of our notebook LM that is a complete outline of everything that we brainstorm. And if we wanted to, we could take this outline over to Google AI, or I think that's the next step after we brainstorm it, is we come over and we say, okay. And I just start the chat very simply with Gemini. And I say, okay, write me a more detailed outline based on this brainstorming outline from notebook LM. And then of course I just paste it in that brainstorming session, that outline that I got from the brainstorming session. And now I'm interacting with Google AI holistically, right inside of their ecosystem of Google AI. And you can see now that I have a draft here. I have a draft actually show drafts. I have multiple drafts. If you weren't aware inside of Google Gemini, when you give it a prompt or you give it input, it actually creates multiple drafts. So you have multiple drafts here of a new outline of a new concept and taking your brainstorming to the next level with Google AI here inside of Gemini with these three outlines that have increased or added a little more depth to the outline so you can figure out exactly what you wanna put in your information product around this specific topic. And of course you could do this with any topic inside of Notebook LM just by, again, going back to Gemini, starting having a chat and getting a nice outline, bringing that in as a source and then of course you click here and you could add more sources. If you had sources inside your Google Docs or other things that you'd written in the past or things that you had collected from other people, websites, YouTube videos. And then of course you could also just put in more information. Also upload PDFs.txt, mark down even audio here as it is a new feature or as a new feature. I haven't tried that one yet, but it's something that you could definitely or should definitely explore with this world or this idea of brainstorming, check out the link in the description for these five brainstorming prompts that I came up with. Check it out. Let me know in the comments what you come up with with brainstorming or during your brainstorming sessions with Google AI, both Gemini and Notebook LM as we bring all these sources together and we generate these notes and then brainstorm each note individually and then collectively put them together to create one outline and then 
have the outline that we need or that will provide us the clear focus that we need to build our own information product. Thanks for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.